Hello everyone, this is Hubert from Traveling with Hubert again. Uh, Kathy and I went to uh, Webster County, that's her home county, that's where she uh, grew up. And we did a count, we, this is a county video. Uh, we uh, drive through on uh, US 280, uh, then we go uh, on uh, Georgia 41 for a little bit, and then we go down a county road. And um, she grew up near where the video ends. And the reason for that is my GoPro overheated. So if any of you out there that's using GoPros, I have a, a two GoPro 7s and a GoPro 10. Uh, and I was using the 10 on this particular trip. But if you know of some way to lessen the chances of that happening, uh, I would be glad, uh, more than glad to read about it down in the comment section of the video description. We have um, photos at the end of the, the, uh, this video. There's information all through the video about the history of, uh, of Webster County. Uh, and we uh, hope you enjoy it. We really like uh, and enjoy people who watch our videos. Uh, hope you continue to do so. Uh, we... Uh, Hope that uh, if you haven't subscribed, you'll subscribe to our channel. Uh, we hope that you like the video well enough that you'll give us a thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate that. And uh, if you have questions about uh, Webster County, uh, we'll do our best to answer that. So just put those comments down in the comment section as well. Uh, and uh, share this video with somebody that might enjoy uh, watching uh, videos like this and uh, you have a blessed day. Town of Haley here. Looks like they just cut the grass. Yeah. Looks on that side anyway. Well yeah, yeah they did over here too I guess. I can just see it better on the right. It's more cleared off over here than it is yeah. on your side. Hugh Alton Carter Bridge, honey. Folks in Webster County, it is the third least populated county in the state of Georgia. Now, I've been trying to think of what the other the two ahead of it might be. I think maybe Eccles County would be, and I'll have to look up the other one, but I'm pretty sure that. I'll look that up and see what it is. Well, really, unless you're a farmer or into the lumber industry, I mean, there's not much yeah. to be here for, is it? No, there's there's not any industry here as far as I know. Right? That was some kind of lumber thing back there. Yeah, isn't it? but that that's to me that's part of ag timber's part of agriculture to me. Some big old plantation. Lanasee Plantation. Actually, it's Lanahassee. Sheriff George Edward. I couldn't read that. Lanasee Creek. Lanahassee Creek. There's a lot of open spaces, honey. They've been losing population for a while, that's for sure. Here's the Preston city limit. Preston is the I county seat. I spent night that girl up there right there in that house. She was in my class at school. Diane Walker. 
Marokko. Yeah, we've made a video of Preston. That's been a while back. We're going to give it a drive through as we head over to Richland. Yesterday, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Her name was Kay Things change. It may, may not even be here. Yeah, they've got some empty ones under here. They looked in. Oh, that's a Marshall Lodge. That's why that looks that way. That's a school. I used to play basketball in that gym over there. Mm -hmm. Gracious. And what is this right here? This is the Baptist, still Baptist Church, I'm assuming. This is uh, that Hispanic Church. Mm -hmm. Well, there's still quite a few homes and people living here, isn't it? Yes. I'll do the uh, population. Seems like I looks like they got 
connections out there for them. Hey, I'm about to run out of street. Yeah, they look like they put some houses back in here. Look at that little tiny home right there. Yes. Yeah, I guess you're going to have to go around the circle, honey. Come right back out where we're at. Yeah, right in front of the school. They almost got me, honey. They got a lot of stop signs around here. Yeah. Courthouse. To eat at a little corner restaurant somewhere. Well, mom's kitchen. Right yeah, mom's Mom kitchen was right back there, there, honey. Because we used to go to yeah. it after games. Webster County is the third least populated county in the state of Georgia. Uh, number one is Tolliver County, number two is Quitman County, and Webster County ranks 127th in Georgia in per capita income. Webster County is named after uh, Daniel Webster. Uh, Webster County started out as Kitchafuni County and but it was changed in 1856. Nice field of corn up here on the left. Mm -hmm. Now we used to ride the bus up here to Richmond by fall. Back in the day, yeah. I've been to these places when I could was coaching, honey. Yeah. I can't remember where we used to go to the trails. This is a catch a funny creek up here, honey. Mm -hmm. They've replaced this bridge. This bridge was the one that was here was damaged in the flood of '94. To take them. 40 years to fix it, 30 years to fix it. Yeah. Almost 30 years. There are three major communities in Webster County. Archery, uh, Preston, and Weston. Uh, the population in Webster County is about evenly divided between black and white. The median household income in the county is 25,108, and the family median income is 40,441. There are some uh, important historical facts. Uh, the first Confederate flag in Georgia was raised at the courthouse in Preston. In 1861, at the end of the war, when the Union forces occupied uh, Webster County, uh, they cut the pole flagpole down and destroyed it. Archery is the boyhood home of uh, former President uh, Jimmy Carter, and uh, Preston, which serves as the county seat, was uh, created in 1853. Not very many houses between Preston and Richmond, is it? No, and that kind of goes along with what I, I read, honey, about it being a not a very populated county. And I, I suspect that uh, they got a lot of poverty in Webster County, too, because when you don't have many people, you don't have jobs. And it just kind of goes hand in hand. 
Preston, the county seat, was founded in 1856. It was incorporated as a town in 1857 and a city in 1977. In 2009, it was unincorporated and became part of the unified government of Webster County. Yeah, I don't think you can get much more rural in Georgia than here. On Friday, May the 2nd, 1873, Ms. Susan Eberhardt was hanged for being an accomplice to a murder. She is one of only 13 females to, be, to, to die by hanging in the state of Georgia. Lots for sale, one to five acres, honey. Yeah. Church. Bible of Life Cathedral. Stores closed, honey. Yeah, that like it. Used to be the place, honey. Stop there and get you a biscuit in the morning and a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I taught school with a man from here, Mike McGlone. And uh, if I'm remembering halfway correctly, I, I know he's from Cordell, but I think he and Eddie kind of grew up in the same area, honey. Oh, okay. You know, Eddie, the, our neighbor. See a speed zone. And we're in Stewart County. Nice <coughs> apartment. It's on the left. Can't see what that's saying. Anyway, Let's see if we can ride down through the county for a little bit. Huh? Mm -hmm. I can't believe they didn't they have a stop sign. I'm in a stoplight here, honey. I can't remember. Well, I've got it in the old video. I can check it out, and I don't think it was a four-way stop sign. Looks like somebody's working on Mom's kitchen. You reckon they're going to open it back up? I don't know. A whole bunch of folks there. Same as the health department. Yeah. You know, they made such a big deal. They lost so much business during the COVID. COVID, yeah. but they didn't bother to do takeout service. That's what Glass Kitchen did. Yeah. They, and, and now they're closing because they just been at it for a long time. I'm talking about Gladys, not Granny's. I know, honey. Glad, Gladys is, they did carry out and they survived through, but That's now. That's what I'm saying. But now they're, you know, they're, they're closing anyway. So. You mean Glass's Kitchen is closing? I thought that's what it said, honey. Was that that or Granny's? Granny's. Granny's. Okay. Sorry, I thought yeah. you. Thought that's you. why I said no. Glass's kitchen survived the COVID because they were smart enough to open her drive. Yeah, okay, I, I misunderstood. I thought it was Gladys's that was closing. Honey. Hey, 
Grace and Mary Walker grew up in that house yeah. right there. Yeah. I wonder if one of them still lives there. school bus used to come in on this road and I caught the school bus out there, yeah. drove through and then uh, so they finally got to the end of it and then they turned and came in on this road and they picked up a few people, a few more people. Coleman's Welding. Uh -huh. You know, I don't remember what Ruth and Mary's daddy did, but you know his mama talked on that. Uh-huh. She taught me. Crossing Kitchafuni again, honey. Mm. Yeah, they were both educators. Uh, yeah, I worked with Reese over at Tri County High School. Yeah, yeah you tell me about him. And had contact with his brother, honey, but I can't remember in what capacity. I, I know him. Talks and stuff like that, but he, he didn't. He wasn't an employee of the school system where I worked. But they both would take one of being teachers. Yeah. In education, yeah. Mm -hmm. Macedonia. That may be the road, Macedonia. Yeah. Everything seems such far away yeah. distance, but then in reality, it's not. Because Lewis Banks used to live on that road, and so did Sandra and Bill Minnick. We had stop and we came out at a uh, fossil store. We had to go to the left to go down there to where we all lived. Just a lot of woods, honey, that's all I can say. Silent Missionary Baptist Church. This is the Correctly, this is where there's a the family in Webster County. The crimes, yeah, they're the ones that had mom's kitchen. And had I think to. that's their settlement back there. Yeah, yeah I think he told me that one time. Can I turn to the left up here? I don't see why not. What road does it say? Sign, honey, but I can now. Ben, ben Williams, Williams Road. Road. Yeah. Anyway, it'd be we're going somewhere different. Mm -hmm. Got to wind up somewhere. Yes. Yeah, Mr. Crimes was our uh, bus driver for the sports teams, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Carlton was one of the, he was actually a uh, pair pro, but he also helped coach. Did you tell you anything? I can't see that across the road. I can't either, honey. Mm -hmm. I think if you go back to the right, you, that'll take you into to Weston. The Williams Road goes that way. This is East Center Point this Road. This is East Center Point Road? Yes. Yeah, we need to go straight then. We're going to go through Center Point by, go by Fussell Store. Before you get to Fussell Store over there to the right, somewhere in the woods, there's a road that's where I used to go to swim in Fussell's Pond. You know, they had these snakes over there. We thought we were at the yeah. beach, and so did everybody else. But back then you was young and carefree and didn't care. I'm telling you, it's awful. Yeah. Wouldn't do that these days, honey. I don't even want to get in that late black shirt, much less. Yeah. Trimming up the road. Yeah, they got to do something. Making it look halfway decent. Big shady house. 
house up here, honey. Well, it ain't really a big house, but... That, center, that fossil store is probably not even there anymore. Yeah. It's probably just dilapidated. Some more farmland. That's where we live, honey. We live in the middle of farm farming land. So. That's why we have so many gnats in it. I don't know. I don't know whether that's why. We're... Well, I've always heard you have more gnats in rural areas than you do. Yeah. I know it didn't be in Macon. I was all seamen up there. Well, you, they, you don't have any gnats above what they call the fall line. Yeah. I don't know exactly where it cuts off at. If it's Macon or before it's right, you get right, to Macon. right along that line from. Columbus to Augusta, honey, yeah. Above there, you don't have any. And south of there, they just... They breed like gnats, honey. Used to work in a place called Sandersville, Georgia, honey. And you could actually see them. I mean, they'd be like a little cloud. Harry's... Shop. Oh, they got a tire shop out here, okay? In the middle of nowhere, honey. Alright. Yeah, Macedonia Church Road, honey. I think you want to stay on the center point road. Alright. I don't know, honey. I'm, I'm, well, that head. little community called Centerpoint is going straight on my way to where I used to live. You know, uh, it used to be a big, well, I think it used to be a little school there way back in the day. And that was before my time, and it had a gym, you know, a big yeah, building. There's they the used to have. House big get-togethers and dances and stuff like that. Yeah. It's probably falling down too now. They got a big yard to cut. Mm -hmm. I guess they cut this all along. Ten years or so, they'll be making some money off of those. 